Hi everyone, this is going to be my shower jellies and soap, but right now I have no room because my shower jellies just took over. I kind of got a thing for shower jellies, and like I say before, I never knew which smells I liked. I'm only going on a year with Into Lush, so I kind of got a little bit of everything. So the first ones over here are my Big Calm, and I don't have the one... I don't have the one from the last video in here, the one that's cut up. These are two that are non-cut because I already had that in the video, so I wouldn't add it to this one. This one literally smells just like a pina colada. I love it, and each one's actually different. The blues and the whites, oh, it just smells like heaven. So you see this one, and then just by looking at the sides, you can see this one's different. It's all white on the bottom. They're always different because they use two different colors in these, and when you cut them open, they say it looks like waves. My first one didn't. I was hoping one of these two, well, so these are big calm, I have two of these, actually three, but only two in the video. And then I have one, two, three, Avo shower jellies. I love these. I think I love this more than the shower gel or the bath bomb. Now this is my Avo, the one that I have cut up. I always cut up one side and leave the other side intact. I don't know why I do, but that's what I do. This is just lemon and Oh, it's just, it's so heaven. I love it. This is my second favorite or first favorite between this and Big Calm. They're my absolute favorite. I love them. I love them. Love them. The next one I have here is the Comforter. And I have two of them. Neither one of them I've cut up yet. I mean, I love the smell of the Comforter in the shower cream. But to tell you the truth, in the jelly, it just isn't my cup of tea. So I will probably be getting rid of both of these. Neither one of these are used. So that's the comforter. And then we have Honey, I Wash the Kids. And from what I remember, these only came out once, maybe twice so far. And that's what it looks like there. That's when it was made. It's very, like it's a white, it's creamy white. It smells just like honey. It smells just like the soap. It smells just like the, sh the shampoo bar. I absolutely love it. If I get rid of, I might, I might get rid of one of these because I don't know if I can use both of them before the sell-by date. So I might be getting rid of one of these, but they just smell like heaven. And the next one down the line is the Papa Noel. This is a face jelly. This is the only face jelly I know about Lush having. This one's in pieces, because that's how I ended up getting it sent to me, actually. This one's the actual face. I, it should be in my Christmas one. If not, it might have been in another version of the Christmas one, because I had like four versions of my Christmas haul. But I do have it there. It literally looks like pam um, pants. Santa's uh, beard. I just don't like the smell whatsoever. So I'll probably keep this one, if not give it away to somebody, because it is in pieces, like somebody I know. And this one I will be selling off. I'm just not a fan of the smell whatsoever. It sm smells like lemon and orange. It's just not a version of lemon and orange I personally like. And the next two I have here are iced wine. I actually got these because uh, Jen from All Things UK, Lush UK, sorry, I can't speak, said she loved the smell of these. It smells just like wine to me. It's, it's not a, a smell I like. I've never used them. I literally just opened it and smelt them. Both of these are non-cut. It's not something I really like. I will be getting rid of both of these. Next one down the line is American Cream. I know the first time that I know these came out, they sold out so quick I couldn't get my hands on. So the second time around, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get three of these. They must be a huge hit. They smell like strawberries, like a strawberry milkshake, everybody says. That's what it looks like. It's not a smell I like. It's not like a strawberry milkshake I really like. I thought I would like it. I ended up trading one of these away for a different jelly you're gonna see. I don't like these. I will probably most likely be selling off both of these or trading them off. It's just not a smell for me. <laughs> Next we have three Santa be bellies. They're red, they have little stars in them. I'm not gonna take it out, but it's supposed to look like Santa's belly with the belt and all that. It's supposed to have a crisp apple smell to it. I like it, I don't love it. I will probably be keeping all three of these just because I know everyone's probably got tons of these from the Boxing Day sale, but still, I like it. This is not one of my favorites, but I do like it. Next we have the Snowman, which probably lots of people have this from the Boxing Day sale too. 
I do like them. I mean, I might wait a little bit and try to get rid of at least two of these. It's not like a super big thing of mine. I mean, I'm not loving it. If I'm going to keep three Santa Bellies, I don't need three Snowmans. I will probably be keeping two, selling one off. And I know I'm talking about selling off a lot of things. Like I said before, I was so new to Lush that I didn't know what I like. And that's the only reason why I'm selling things off. Because I know they have a certain date they need to be sold by. And I know somebody else probably will love it because it's really not a smell for me, some things. Next, we have the Bouncing Bunny. It's a limited edition. This is one, this was the literally the first jelly I got from Lush. Uh, I started getting into Lush last Easter. So I have two of these. One's mine, one's my daughter's. We haven't even used them yet. It's like an orange sherbet smell. It smells so good, but we really don't want to ruin the bunny, which is kind of sad when they put them into cute little things like this. And there's like a little bunny, nobody wants to use it. But I do love these and I hope they do come out with it again this year so we can get more even though we really haven't used these yet, but I know we will because it's such a good smell. Next, we're on to whoosh. And I know you're probably thinking, why do I have two of something that I can buy anytime? It's because one came from the 29 box and then I think one came from another box. I'm not sure. They're blue inside. They smell like lemon and lime, like it says on here. They smell so good. I absolutely love these. I will be keeping both of these. All right, next one is Pot of Gold. It's got like a gold coloring to it. I don't even want to open it. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of like a caramelly, but like a burnt caramelty with a lemon to it. Not lemon, um, vanilla to it. I don't like it, and it's such a shame because it literally is so, so pretty. I've never cut it, never used it. I will be selling this one off. It's so sad because it's a pot of gold, and it just looks so pretty. It just, the smell's not for me. This is Deep Sleep. I think the date's probably expired. Six, yes, 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 yes. But I got this off of somebody else. It's very pretty color to it because it didn't come out for a while in the kitchen. And then, of course, the kitchen came out with one right after I got this. I traded this for an American pie. They took one slice out of it, but I was like, hey, it's a smell I've never smelt before. And it wasn't in the kitchen. And now it is obviously what well, it was. But I'm going to have to hold on to it because it has expired. And I don't like selling off expired things. But I thought maybe I'd like it because it's supposed to have an orange smell to it. I don't like it. it, it I think it has more the chamomile smell to it more than the orange. But it does look very pretty. Once again, I know this is a jelly you can get any time. But I really wanted to try it. This, if you ask me, reminds me a lot of Dragon's Egg. And I love me some Dragon's Egg. I haven't even cut this because I have so many jellies. But I do love this so much. Then we have the Jilted Elf, and I know this wasn't out for so long, and so many people wanted it to come back. This is literally was just made, so this is still good to date. I don't like the smell, and I'm really sad because I know this was something that everybody wanted to have for so long, and they're like, why don't you bring back this jelly? Why are you bringing back the same jellies over and over and over again? I don't like it. I was on the fence of it at first. It's very like plain green. I don't like it. I will be getting rid of it. And I was kind of upset because I know this was such a long time coming. This is another jelly you can get anytime from Lush, but it's supposed to be really good for like if you pull a muscle, if you have some aches and pains. I actually have a really bad back. I had surgery on it. And I thought maybe for one of those really bad days, I could try this. I haven't even cut it yet because the smell is just so strong. It's a very, very like icy hot smell to it. So I'm going to have to cut it up and I'm going to have to leave it in the bathroom for a day when I have a really bad day and to try it. This is regular all the time at Lush. Next one I have is the Strawberry Twin Tubs. It doesn't look really any different inside. I don't want to really open all of these because some of the smells I really don't like. This is an alright smell. It's not a very, very strong. Hold on. I think I might be mixing this up with Happy Blooming. Hold on. I'm going to have to open it. No, I was right. It's not a, it's a strawberry smell, but it's not like super, super strong. They say it's supposed to smell like coconut. I don't smell coconut in here whatsoever. I think this is a less stronger version of this one, Happy Blooming. This one is more straight, crisp, cherry, strawberry. I don't smell the coconut, but this is like a stronger version and this is like a, a less stronger version, but it's almost the same exact thing. I will be keeping both of these because I do like them. I just have not cut either one of these. I have so much jellies and I don't really got a chance to use them all. Now this is Ghost. This is just literally a white jelly. Is it in a shape? Hold on. I don't even remember if it's in a shape. Well, look at that. It is in a shape. It's in the shape of a ghost. I don't want to take it out because Ghost is not a smell I like. 
This is from the Japanese kitchen. I bought this off of somebody. They never used it. I never used it. I just, whoop, little ghost fell out. Look, whoop. <laughs> I found that I'm not a fan of um, ghosts like I thought it would be because they say it's like lilies. It's not to me. This is a really cute guy, but I'm going to be getting rid of him because I literally have no point to him. It's not a smell I like, but he is very cute. Next one on here is Nightwing. I had two of these. They came out in a gifts box from the Lush Kitchen around Halloween. I gave one away. I love this smell. It is like, I said Starburst last time when I meant to say Skittles, like a lime Skittle. Oh, it is so good. And it's in the shape of a bat. I love it. This one's broken, so I don't want to open it because it's really sad. But I love the smell of this. I waited from like, I saw videos of the last... Uh, 2015 Halloween and I was dying for this to come out because I really wanted to try it and I love jellies and then it didn't come out so I'm so glad it came out in the Lush Kitchen. I love it, love it, love it. Now this is a magic shower jelly. I actually traded a Twilight. I'm not a fan of Twilight but I traded it for a magic. It's still in date but it's a very, very earthy smell. I don't like earthy smells. I've come to realize if you love earthy smells, great for you. I just can't get into it. I hope one day I will because it does... It does seem like it's an amazing smell. It's just not a smell for me, unfortunately. So I will be getting rid of magic. Staying with the earthy smellies for smells for a minute. This is jungle. This is actually two-toned. It's really pretty, but I don't like earthy smells. I, it's sad, but it is very pretty. I will be getting rid of it. I never cut it, never used it. Just realize it's not a smell for me. And the last earthy smelly jelly I have is tramp. This came out the same time the comforter came out, Twilight came out in the kitchen. I got every single jelly that week, and honey, I washed the kids. It's just not a smell for me. I've never used it, literally just opened it and smelled it, and it's been with all the rest of the jellies. I will be getting rid of this one, too. This is a Joy of Jelly. I got this in the kitchen, I think maybe the last time it was on, or the second to the last time. I was really on the fence with this. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't like jasmine. But I'm like, let me try it and add it to my collection of jellies because I really have a collection of jellies. I love my jellies, but I don't like it. I never used it. It literally smells like jasmine to me. It's not a thing I would really like, but it is very pretty. I will be getting rid of this one too. This is Party On Shower Jelly. I know it's come out a few times. Not a fan of it. I love the color of it though. I remember someone posting on the Lush Kitchen underneath why they like the comments of the menu that week. Stop trying to make party on happen. It's not happening. And I mean, I could understand it's very like it's a menthol smell to it too. I'm like, maybe I'll hold on to it because when I'm congested, I'll try it. It's not going to happen. I don't like party on. It's sad. I will be getting rid of it. This is probably one of the newest jellies I have. This one just came out. It's the gold frankincense and beer. I was really hoping I would like it. I don't think I've ever smelt anything with frankincense in it. But I think it's the beer that's coming off with me not liking it. I'm not sure. I'm still on the fence with this jelly if I like it or not. I haven't cut it yet or nothing. I don't usually cut it unless I know I absolutely love it because I know somebody else might. So I'm on the fence with this jelly. I'm really hoping I'll get into it. I think I might like frankincense. I'm just not sure. My last two jellies are probably fan favorites, just not me fan favorites. It's Twilight. I know a lot of people love Twilight, and this has only come out one time. I will be getting rid of it. Yeah, not a fan of Twilight. Not a fan whatsoever. Just, no, not for me. And then the last one is Rose Jam, another favorite. I think the first time it came around, it sold out. It actually crashed the kitchen's website for this jelly. I just don't like rose jam. So that's all the jellies. I'm going to pause it for a second and put all the soaps up. All right. These are my soaps. That goes from the Christmas soaps on down. And then everything in this pile over here, these are all samples. If you guys see anything you like, just put it in the comment below and you can absolutely have it. You don't have to win it. The first person to say it can have it. I will go through them at the very end though. But let me go on right back over to here. Now, this is tiptoeing through the tulip, something like that. Tiptoe through the tulip soap. This was made in the Lush Kitchen. I don't want to open it. I usually keep these all in plastic because so you can see they get really, really wet and 
from the soap. This has flowers all on top of it. It's a very, very floral smell. I don't like it. I will be reselling it off. That's why I do not want to open it. Then we have 29 and a half soap. This came in my 29 box. If you ask me, it's kind of like a caramel, a caramel, karma smell to it. I don't know, maybe because I had it in the same box. I'm not sure. But I'm debating on getting rid of it. The only reason why I don't want to keep it is because it came in my 29 box. This is a chunk of the magic wand that came out for Halloween 2016. Some people say it smells like plastic. It kind of has like a citrus smell to it, but like something else. Like it smells like something else from Lush. If you guys know what else it smells like, put it in the comments below. This one I will be keeping. And the funny thing is, you see all these soaps I'm going to show you, and I'm not even a huge fan of soaps from Lush, but it just seems like I just keep collecting them, and it takes forever to get through these. This is Northern Lights from the Lush Kitchen. It's very, very citrusy, but the only thing is with Lush soaps, if you don't use them, they do start to shrink and shrivel up just a little bit. So I have to start really getting through some of these. I might be selling this one off. I'm not sure. It's a very citrusy smell to it. I try to keep these on them so I remember when they were made and how long they're good for. And yes, I know soaps could be good for a long time. I just like to do that. These are two of shoot, shoot, Shooting Stars. These didn't come out in the Boxing Day sale. These are just two that I had because I really, really like these soaps. I have a chunk of one of these, one of the sample ones. Hold on. One of the sample ones that the um, Lush Kitchen gives you. They like, I mean... Look at the actual size of the soap and the chunks they give you. This is I have one of these, not this one, in my bathroom for the longest time now. It does take a while to get through these chunks, too. So that's two shooting stars. Now, I really thought I had more than just two chunks of these. I don't know where I put them, but this is Igloo soap. I have two of these. I do have a sample one, too, that I'm giving away. It is yellow. I always seem to get the yellow Igloo soap from the Lush. I don't know why. But I have two chunks. It's a very citrusy smell, like a lemony smell. I do like these. I will be using these. Maybe I'll sell off one because I cannot get through all the soap. These are two chunks of Northern Lights. One has some dust from bath bombs on it. This one came from my wow box. I will be getting rid of both of these. It's an all right smell, but I literally have so much soap from Lush. I possibly can't use it all. Now, this is a Santa's Post box that came out of the Wow box. It is very cute. And then this is like a normal chunk of it. I'm telling you, I do not like the smell. I do have more of these from the Boxing Day that I'm going to be getting rid of. I just don't like the smell of these two. Now, these are two samples. This is an American sample, and this is the, uh, the UK sample. You can tell the, how big the samples can differ. This is Sex Peel. I've never actually bought this yet because I have so much soap, but this is a very lemon smell. This is probably one of the only samples, I think, that are here that I'm actually keeping because I do like the smell of this. Then we have Snow Castle. Oh, I love these, love these, love these. I have one of the ones that look really cute. This came out of my Wow box. And then I have one of the just the chunks, the blocks that I bought separately. These are not part of the Boxing Day sale. None of this stuff is. I'm going to just keep saying it. This smells so good. It's an almond. It's marazepan. I love these, love these, love these so much. I have not used it. I will probably use off the chunk before I use off the castle because the castle is just too cute. I have two reindeer rock soaps. And this one's actually starting to bend, which is crazy. But I do have two of these. I like the smell. But once again, I have so much soap. I don't know if I can get through all of it, but I will probably be getting rid of these two, too. Up next is Demon in the Dark. I don't just have one of these. <laughs> two. Three of these. These are supposed to be a smell of, this is the black wax on it. I keep them in plastic because I do not like the smell of these. It has chunks of apples in it, they say, but it just comes off as a mint smell to me. This is wax around them. I have three chunks. I will be getting rid of all three of these. Now, I know this isn't Lush. This is Witch Baby. This is the Mistletoe Fairy. This was in her uh, winter box. I am getting rid of this. This isn't a smell I like. And it seems to me, I'm trying to find my other one. Here you go. This one I bought in October from her. It does look like these shrink too. As you can see the difference, the discoloration, 
my fingers in the way, of course, and they do shrink just a little bit. I do love this print, though. That's why I haven't opened it and used it. I just think it's so, so cute. But I will be keeping this one, not because of the smell, just because I think it's so cute. I won't ever be using it. It's just too cute, too cute. Now, this is Fireside Soap. This is from the Halloween range. It's got the really pretty little like piece of fire on it. It smells like a campfire to me almost. I do like it. I don't know if I'm keeping it. I don't know what I'm doing with it because I have so much soap, but it's very, like you can smell like wood burning campfire. It's pretty cool how they made this smell. Now this is from Father's Day 2016. It says D-A-D. Oh, no, what's the other date? Right there, sorry. It says D-A-D. It, it spells out dad. Um, it's a very citrusy smell. I do think it's cute, but I will probably be getting rid of it just for the fact that I won't be able to get through it. And then this was from Mother's Day 2015. I did cut off a piece of it. I think this was called Sunrise Soap. It smells so good. It's such a lovely citrus smell. I will be keeping this one. I do really like this one. I did lie. There is two samples in here. This is a solid shampoo. I thought this was a soap. Anyway, this is from Lush. I thought it was a, sh was a soap, but it's a solid shampoo. I will be parting with this. If anybody sees this and they like it, there is two uh, big chunks of it. I am getting rid of it. You can have it for free. Just comment below you want it. Um, it kind of smells like karma because I think I had it in my karma box, but it is yours if you want it. Karma, this is where the smell's coming from. I'm getting rid of this soap. I do not like Karma. It is not a smell for me. This came out of my 29 box. I will be getting rid of it, never used, still sealed up. Now, this is one of the things that started off my Lush craze, my Lush love. This is a charcoal chunk of soap for your face. I was watching YouTube for um, oily skin, what's the best products to use on it. And this came up with, I think it was Mask Magna Minty. And this is what got my intrigue into Lush. I haven't even used this yet. And this is what got my intrigue into Lush. That's pretty bad, don't you think? This I just opened up. This is Fairy Ring Soap. If I'm saying that right, right? Fairy. Yep, Fairy Ring Soap. This was the last time it was made in the kitchen. I kind of thought it would smell like Snow Fairy for some reason. Maybe because it just said fairy in it. But I don't like it. I will be parting with it. It's not a smell I really enjoy. Now, this is Godmother Soap. It's all sealed up because I don't want to lose the smell to it. It's got pieces of, like, fairies carved into it. I love the smell of this soap. I have not used it yet. It's really weird because it's such a skinny, skinny chunk of it. Most of their chunks are usually fatter. But this was the Godmother Soap that came out in the Lush Kitchen. And I think this was in, like, March of 2016. This one came out right around the time this one came out. This is Pineapple Grump. I did seal it up. A lot of my things I like to seal up. It's got big chunks of pineapples in it. It smells like pineapple. I haven't got a chance to use it yet. I will be holding on to it because I love pineapple smells. Now this one I will not be holding on to. This just came out in the Lush Kitchen. This is the Yog Nog Soap. I really thought I would love it. I don't love it whatsoever. Don't like it. I will be pop parting with it. I only opened it for the video. This is the Yog Nog Soap. It's not a smell for me. I really thought I would love it. Don't love it whatsoever. Uh, this is the Christmas Cake Soap. This came out in the Lush Kitchen not too long ago. Now, this one I actually really, really like. It kind of reminds me... Oh, if I can get it open. So, this is the uh, Christmas Cake, what I just said. Whatever I just said. Christmas Cake Slice. And it's pretty cool because it has, like, chunks on top of it. Kind of looks like... Um, fruitcake but it does not smell like it this white really smells like marazepam soap i mean um marazepam soap snow castle soap i like it. it's got a little bit of a a little bit of a different tang to it than snow castle but it's almost the same it's very very pretty soap i will be holding on to this one i really do like this one this was somewhere over the rainbow it's been cut up into chunks this is my daughter's soap she got the purple and blue I don't like the smell. I keep it in plastic for her. I don't like it and it's taking her forever. This came out Easter 2016 and she still has chunks left. I think she's only ever used one of these chunks so far. This once again is not Lush. This is Witch Baby. This is Dragon's Blood. I thought I might like it. I don't like it. I will be getting rid of this one. I might even give this one away as a giveaway in this video. I probably will. I will. How's that? I will. I'll be giving away a Witch Baby soap as a giveaway 
in this video, Dragon's Blood. I just like the name, I think. That's why I bought it, and it looks really cool, Dragon's Blood. Another thing that's not lush, I love Love Heart Soap. Thought it was really cute. Smells like strawberries. I don't like it. I will be parting with this one. This should have been in my Christmas haul. I don't remember which video of the Christmas haul I actually put up. But this is the Candy Cane Rular. I do have the uh, Yognog Rular too. But this one doesn't look like it's making it very well whatsoever. The longer the time is since I got it, the worse it's looking. I can't resell it because it just looks in such bad shape. This one will probably most likely be going in the garbage because it just looks so bad. The last two little samples I have here I will be keeping. Sorry, these aren't part of a sample giveaway. This is the Hex Soap, I think it is, from Witch Baby. I just love these cute little samples she gives you. It looks like a leaf. It's just so cute, the little mold she must have. This smells really good, too. And then, if I can get this one out. This one's supposed to smell like money, it says. And this is like an autumn leaf look to it. It's so pretty. The gold's going through it. I do love these soaps. I will probably never use these. This should just go out as a display because they're just so, so cute. All right, so these are all the sample soaps I'm giving away. You just have a comment you want them or not. This is maple, I want to say. It's a very minty, minty smell. Don't like it. It's not for me. Boop. This is parsley porridge. Not a thing for me. It's pretty cool looking. I always ask for samples when I get uh, order from the Lush Kitchen because I know they have out such big samples, but it's just not a smell I really like. This is an American sample. You can tell by the way it comes in. This is another sex peel. I already have two of these. I'm giving this away. Just comment you want it. Another Karma soap. It's a little sample though, but you guys can have it. Uh, Serendipity. This is very lavender. It has lavender chunks in it. I do have one of these, I think it's in Pretty Woman probably, when it comes in a square. I think it would have been so much cooler if it would have came in a circle like this. This is going to be a giveaway. I love heart-shaped soap. Smells like strawberries. Whoop. Uh, Amanda Panda? I don't know. But it's two different tones. Pretty cool looking. Be giving this one away. Whoop. Then we have Santa's Post Box Soap. Giving this one away. This is Igloo, just by the way it looks. Baked Alaska, uh, do, 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 do. Baked Alaska, Shooting Stars, Whoop. Layered Cake. I do have a bigger one of this too. I just don't know where I put it. Layered Cake's going to be giving away. This is going to be like a giveaway winner. Dragon's Blood, Big Chunk of Soap, and I Heart are going to be giveaways. Two different people can get this. And if you ask for one sample of the soap, don't ask for like all of them so everybody can get a little bit of something. It would probably cost me more in shipping to send these to you guys. But I have so much soap. I don't want it to go to waste. And I know somebody else might love all of these. Last but not least, these are all the solid perfumes I have. And these are all the liquid perfumes I have. I have two uh, Yuzu and Cocos. These just came out in the Lush Kitchen. To tell you the truth, I'm really not a big fan of these. I think the shower cream smells so much better than these. I will be getting rid of both of these. It's not a smell I like. Then they have the I Ho I'm Home. And everyone says this smells like vanilla cake. I mean, I don't know. I don't get vanilla cake off of it. I'm not sure what I get off of it. I will most likely be selling this one off. I'm not sure. If I do get sell it off, I will post it in behind, on the bottom to let you guys know before I put it on like Facebook or eBay. I don't know because I know this one sold out really quick. And then there's this one. This one's supposed to smell just like lavender and it doesn't. I actually kind of like the smell, but it's not lavender because I hate lavender smells. It smells really good. It just does not smell like lavender. Toot, 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 toot. And then this one, I know it was the last one out of the, these three to stay on the Lush Kitchen. This one, this one, and this one. It's supposed to smell like a coffee house. I do get coffee off of it. I will most likely be holding on to this one because I don't think no one's going to really want this. I'm only asking what I paid for for majority of everything that I am selling off. So it smells like a coffee house. I kind of don't know why I bought it, but now I have it. So I'm kind of stuck with it. I'm telling you, this is the only liquid perfume that I will never part with. This is my Snow Fairy. I bought this off of somebody else. Um, it says that it must be used by 10, 17, 17. I don't care if it, if it went bad like two years ago. I just love the smell of this. I love it. I love it. I love it. It does last longer. The liquid does last longer. 
than the solid. I am going to tell you that much. The solid does not last as long in Snow Fairy. I love it though. I love Snow Fairy. This is Honey I Wash the Kids. It's very, very toffee um, smell. Toffee, honey. I do love it. I will be holding on to this one. I do like it so much. And I barely used any of these so far. Here's Rose Jam. I bought this when I first got into Lush and I thought I would love Rose Jam. I don't love it. I've maybe used it one time just to sample it. Don't love it. We'll be getting rid of it. 29 High Street. At first, I did love the smell. I'm not going to lie to you. It smells like walking into a Lush, but I don't see myself ever putting this on. I haven't put it on not one time since I got it, so I will be parting ways with this one. And the last one is Uzu and Coco. This one I will be holding on to because it's a different smell from the liquid, which is kind of crazy. It's not as strong as the liquid perfume. It's a little bit laid back, so I, I do like it. I'm telling you, I'm only keeping three, getting rid of two. I'm trying to figure out which smells I like, which smells I don't like. It's just the perfumes are so expensive to try to figure out, oh, yeah, I like this one. Oh, no, I don't like that one. And I love Uzu and Coco. So I thought I was going to love it. That's why I bought two of them. And I just don't like it. It's not my kind of smell. So once again, this is part, I think it's like three of my Lush Kitchen collection. I kind of went crazy about a whole bunch of different things because I was so new to Lush. But the next part will be up before you know it.